Ladies and gentlemen, this is The Gun War. And in this video, we're going over successful stories, some from this year, to help motivate you. First one, Gut Soldier. And I'm going to read what they typed up. Gut Soldier, 2018, January 11th, 2021. Oscar here had an odor that people said smelled like someone farted. I could smell it before I lost my sense of smell and taste slash negative for COVID. I am smelling and tasting at 70 to 90 percent now. Better. Just out of the blue one morning, one to two years ago, it started. The stress in my work probably contributed. Constant constipation, going back to eating meat again probably too. But I think the number one cause was my diet in general. 25 years of hot Cheetos, beer, pizza, and did I mention hot Cheetos? At my worst, I was smelling like a skunk. It even burned my own nose a bit. Started introducing lots of fiber, no more meat, gut shakes with homemade kefir, mindfulness of stre for stress, oatmeal with kefir, blueberries, etc. A lot more prebiotic, probiotic foods like asparagus, sauerkraut. I was also on the OMAD. Smelt went from skunk to fart in about two to three days and then went from fart to no smell at all, all within two to three weeks. Confidence to get closer to people is back. It never left. It just took a small leave of absence. Ha ha ha. No more reactions. Most importantly, microbiome health is better, which means better overall health. I was also experiencing more gas and bathroom visits when I switched from store-bought kefir to homemade kefir, uh, to homemade. We are what we eat, or better yet, we are what our bacteria eat, correct? So feed them accordingly. The key here is to stick with it. Diet, discipline, basically a building habit out of eating healthier. I couldn't have said it better myself. Thank you, Josh, for your advice. I am forever grateful and will update within a month, hopefully. Whole bunch of likes. Everybody likes hearing successful stories. Let's keep rolling. Next person, Barbie. My odors, and this was from February 1st, 2021. My odor started in 2013. I would go home and shower and bathe several times a day. I saw my PCP and gynecologist who said there was nothing wrong with me. It was all in my head. Finally, Googled bad odor that I can't smell and boom, TMAU popped up. I researched it and started immediately on a low choline free diet, drank nothing but water and kombucha and I took supplements. I had good days with these, but I was never completely smell free. Even though I had a supportive family and a wonderful boyfriend, I was still very depressed and felt suicidal. People can be so mean. Even if you try explaining your condition, some can still be jerks. Then I came across Josh's videos. I started immediately on kefir and fermented foods. That first week, I smelled so bad, I had to leave work early and took off that whole week. It can get worse before it gets better. I drank plenty of water to help flush out the toxins. My shakes were so big and filling I lost weight, which I'm pleased about. I had die off symptoms, I had rash and slight headaches. After being on kefir for a few weeks, my depression and brain fog started going away. Two months later, I was smell free. I was down to a size six. My tongue is a healthy pink and my eyes are no longer bloodshot. Josh literally saved my life with his videos. I will drink my gut war shakes for the rest of my life. I have my family drinking kefir. I even have some of my coworkers drinking it. Thank you, Josh, for sharing your story. You're very welcome, Barbie. And thank you for motivating others with your successful story. Let's keep rolling. Next person, Christina. February 6, 2021. My body odor started in 2011. My bad breath has been with me all my life. I never thought I would be able to say that I don't stink. I went from physicians to different specialists and even gynecologists. They all told me that I needed mental health and that was in my head. At work, school, and anywhere in general, pe general, people would make fun of me and jump away from me as if they would die standing next to me. I lost my friends and a lot of my family because people just couldn't understand couldn't stand being around me. I was at my lowest point in life and contemplated taking my own life. This thought lingered in my head daily. I hated leaving my house because of the reactions I would get. After years of searching, I came across a metabolic disorder doctor that made me feel like I wasn't alone and he told me that it wasn't my fault that I smelt bad. I cried like a baby and said, I don't know what to do. 
anymore. I can't live like this. I was on YouTube about three months ago searching for answers and that's when I came across Josh's video. And that was my motivation to start my gut war journey. That's what I'm fucking talking about. That night I stayed up all night and watched all of his videos. What inspired me was that he described all my symptoms he was able to beat this. The next day I started my diet sh my diet and my shakes in kefir. Three months later, my odor has subsided 95%. That's a pretty damn good percentage. My bad breath has subsided maybe 80%. Pretty, pretty damn good still. I have good and bad days with bad breath, but there has been a significant difference from where it all started, and I also did laundry today, and they smell like baby powder. I am so happy and so thankful that Josh shared his story with the world and I was able to find it. Without him, I probably wouldn't be around to tell my story. Josh was... Josh was my last hope, and sometimes when I'm having a really good day, I tear up about it because I never, I never thought I could go a day without showering 20 million times and still smell good. So thank you so much, Josh. You have saved my life, and I'll be grateful forever. And I appreciate you, Christina, for sharing your story. And there's, there's a lot of stories like these guys on, these, on the successful story tab. My advice is to take a gut test. It's like having a compass which tells you which direction to go. You'll see that you're in a dysbiotic state and then you'll be able to see which unfriendly microbes you have and which probiotics you need to add to your nutritional intake. Um, all of this is just unlicensed advice that you don't have to take. I'd appreciate if you put a comment down below and hit the like button just to raise awareness of this condition and to help the algorithm find us. But all of this is just advice, and this is what we have to do to win the GOAT.